Greetings and welcome to Heal Talk with Lisa. It's good to be together, isn't it? Today I am excited, honored, and today's session is a little bit different. I am at the studios um, in Sherman Oaks and uh, I am privileged to say that what a gorgeous time I had and it was incredible because about an hour ago I was on a show called Mom Talk LA and Mom Talk LA is by Dr. Nelly for Farnudi Zahiri and Dr. Nelly is a psychologist and about child parenting but our event was more about peace talk empathy and womanhood mothers and children and how we empathize with other women and our children. <coughs> so what am I going to do today? We're going to be talking to Dr. Nelly, with Dr. Nelly, and have some time together live because a month, actually 30 days from today, exactly to on March 11th, on my 3E event, which is the day of celebrating International Women's Week, on my fifth annual 3E event, we're going to have Dr. Nelly as one of our panelists. Dr. Nelly is right here. Nandy June, come and join. Hello there. Hello, Hi. Heal Within community. <laughs> Peace and love to you all. That's right. So, Dr. Nelly, mm -hmm. can you bring your chair and sure. sit next to me? All right. Let's talk about. Uh, I think. Well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Okay. All right. Let's see. There you go. We're both we'll in find here. Find the right angle here for you guys. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So, that's right. Peace, parenting. Dr. Nelly. Uh, Empathy. Let's mm -hmm. talk about empathy and womanhood. We were talking about what's happening in our country right now mm -hmm. with women having a voice and speaking. And with our event coming up, which is the 3E event, and you're going to be on, on one of our panelists. It's an honor. Uh, thank you. It's an honor for you to be there for me. What's happening with women, our voice, standing up and saying the things that are happening at this time, are we divided? Are we coming together? Are there women who are saying, I know there are so many who are saying, Lisa, why aren't you speaking up? Why aren't you going for the march? And my answer was, I do it differently and not everyone is out there doing the same thing. Like this morning, I had someone on Facebook who said, everybody's doing the penciling of the eyebrows. Is this the in thing to do? And my answer to her was, just because everybody is doing does not mean that we have to do the same. Be you. Mm -hmm. So I believe I am perfect with my imperfection because I don't think that there is any human being on this earth, either a man or a woman, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. And men are not above us, and women are not above another woman. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter who our title is and what our titles or circumstances are in life, mm -hmm. because bottom line, we all bleed the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Your we thoughts. all bleed the same way. We all come from a mom and a dad, and we have mm. those heart-to-heart -heart relationships. We all do. We all do, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, wh where you stand on some of these issues on immigration or peace and war and all these uh, important issues that today um, we are all captivated by, we are all drawn to. Um, I think we are all living in the belly of the beast. <sighs> However, Beautiful. in that living, in that conscious experience, there is a lot of potential growth. There's a lot of growth. Um, we can certainly relate to that. I certainly relate to it. I um, grew up 
here in America. I was born in Kansas. I grew up here in America as an American in the early years of my life. So I um, was about six and a half, seven, just about to start elementary school when I realized or learned from my parents that this is not my home, that I'm going back to my other home, Iran. Mm -hmm. And um, so in understanding that as a six-year-old. So imagine as a six-year-old, I was um, very much Americanized. I was very much, you know, only spoke English, went to um, a beautiful elementary faith-based preschool wow. in Kansas. Imagine, you know, very much um, was raised in a Christian-based uh, community with Christian values and just, you know, had a lot of... Um, uh, those early years experiences that embraced peace, a uh, sense of belonging, yes. and beauty, and grace. And then comes this, uh, this move, right, this immigration. My first experience as a child immigrating to Iran. So Backwards. Backwards. So imagine what... I was feeling like, I'll tell you what I was feeling like. I was scared. I was right. terrified. I didn't speak Farsi. Um, I went from La Jolla. So those of you who are familiar with La Jolla, the beautiful beach and the green, lush La Jolla. I went from La Jolla to Ahvaz. Ahvaz, uh, close to wow. Abadan, right? right? Southern yep. Iran. Hot. Uh, the, the, where, where, you know, the, uh, it's very hot, uh, very, very desert-like uh, conditions. I remember just being hit by that heat wave as I stepped down uh, the airplane uh, for the first time. And I remember looking out and seeing people who didn't look anything like what I was used yeah. to. Very different uh, attires, um, different... Uh, With their head... Yes. The chadors. Uh, chadors, yeah. or just, um, I think the first thing I noticed was the difference and approaching one another and mm. the personal space. I, I remember clearly, vividly, exactly. how um, the family, the immediate family who was coming to uh, greet us, meet and greet us, they rushed over and they picked me up and they <laughs> squeezed me. And I just wasn't used to that personal space, right? I, I was used to more personal space, right. not like so hard on hard, touchy, touchy and so close. <laughs> and so that was my first cultural shock there. And then I realized, oh, um, I don't speak Farsi, so I, I don't understand what they're saying. A lot of, a lot of, <laughs> 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 and, and then, um, but I liked the warmth. I liked the hospitality. My gosh, the parties yeah. they threw for us, the food, the embracing, speaking of embracing the food, right. the, the beauty, the colors. It was so colorful. It was so beautiful. So much love, so much um, joy. Then I started to learn other aspects to a culture that was very new, very foreign to me, the otherness. And I started embracing the differences, embracing the otherness, learning right. the language, um, and really bonding and connecting to my um, roots and my heritage. Exactly. Uh, I was about nine when I was just getting comfortable and just really integrating well into two cultures and, and trying to understand, yes, I'm part American, I'm part Iranian. I was just about getting that down, right? Third grade, I remember it. Third grade, when the revolution hit. Right. So once again, here you were we go. Yanked. Oh my goodness, Lisa. It was just trauma. Traumatizing. I mean, uh, the, the intensity. My mom was frontline women's rights activist. I wasn't sure, you know, is she going to be okay? Is she going to live? Is she going to die? So once again, I'm faced with um, death and loss and trauma and this um, uh, exactly what I feel now today. I have to say that a lot of this, and I've talked about this, how I think for those of us who have experienced PTSD, in times of grief, exactly. in times of loss. Anytime we have another experience, recurring experience, which I have experienced in the past month or so, um, I think we're reminded of it, right? We're but reminded we also of it. go through this, not only our body goes through it every month as women, mm -hmm. 
but we go through this when there is a childbirth. Yeah. Yeah. We go through this. Uh, women go through cycles mm -hmm. of trauma mm -hmm. from, let's be realistic, it can be a trauma of our body not understanding something like this, trauma mm -hmm. of being transferred from one place to another, mm -hmm. Uh, changing country sure. and being told that we are not as important because men in our country have hierarchy mm -hmm. and some companies and corporations have the hierarchy of women mm -hmm. and so the womanhood is constantly mm -hmm. suppressed mm -hmm. even though it is us that we, mm -hmm. the women, we give birth to men mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> One more time. <laughs> we give birth to men, but it's the womanhood that is always suppressed. <laughs> did I say that enough? You did. <laughs> so yes. it's that the challenge of rape, incest, trauma, yeah. shock, over and over. Mm. And then we come to adulthood mm. and learning that because we are voicing our what we want to express and saying we have the right to our body mm -hmm. we have the right to mm -hmm. speak we have the right mm -hmm. and some people say really yeah. where did this yeah. right come but i yeah. think it's us who gave the right for them to give us permission to speak <laughs> absolutely <laughs> we that's allowed the, it that's the essence of a woman and when we're conscious and awakened we connect to it but I have to say, throughout these traumatic experiences, one right. thing that was consistent, one thing that was um, sort of the integration, the interwoven experience of peace mm -hmm. throughout the traumatic experiences was my connection to my mom and dad. It was oh. the peace learning parenting. So it was almost like every step of my uh, development, I was faced, confronted with a huge challenge where there were there was intense conflict so first cultural conflict east west cultural conflict revolution freedom liberty right peace those conflicts um women women's movement conflict my dad being such a different man than the traditional uh, persian male mm. he was such an amazing liberal Open-minded, open-minded, open-hearted, compassionate, conscious parent. Right. So the con the essence of conscious parenting, my mom and dad being there, coming alongside of me, accompanying me throughout these traumatic experiences, is why I'm able to have more integration and peace today. Is the reason why I can take those pauses today when I'm feeling overwhelmed and say, okay. I'm a parent. What can I do as a parent? What can I to do as a instill. peace learning parent? It is about moment to moment making those peaceful choices. Right. The intention with peace, bringing it into every conversation, whether it's um, my very Republican, you know, opinionated conservative husband sharing his opinion, <laughs> and our children witnessing the dialogue between us, whether being at a party or a special event where we are divided, whether, you know, taking a position on where we stand with um, Iran's current situation, you know, how uh, we can bring more peace to the Middle East, and all right. these conversations were just full of conflict, full of contradiction, but bringing more integration and peace into and it. And love. And love. Love. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Long time Leading ago, I yeah. right heart centered. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. no matter what happens at night, you go to bed together. Yeah, you yeah. hug one another, yeah. and all that goes away. All the politics goes away. Yeah. All the fear goes away, and you hold each other tight. Right, right, right. right. So, yeah, I remember S sleeping with the enemy, right? <laughs> Until it's all fixed, and then it's the love, and, and then it's the neighbor, and then it's your partner. <laughs> I hope it's not the War of the Roses, but yeah, right. <laughs> here we're yeah. becoming personal, but yeah. this is personal. Mm -hmm. Going live and realizing that it's sometimes talking about personal stuff in our life. I come from Iran, mm -hmm. but I am also Armenian, so this having 
home mm-hmm. and being Armenian, speaking different languages, yes, having an mm-hmm. accent and saying which one is homeland yeah. and which one is the land that we accept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but bottom line, knowing just because I don't like what you say or what you do does not mean I do not love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Because it's our behaviors and habits and things Mm -hmm. like that Mm -hmm. that we may not like or even the person that it's in authority. Mm -hmm. But does not mean that we do not love our homeland or our children. No matter what they do, Mm -hmm. um, our children are your children. They may do something that you may not agree or you may say, okay, I, you know, did I give birth to you? I mean, that's not my child. It's but at the comment, yeah. there's comments. No matter what happens to our body, our mind, even our soul, it never changes who we really are. Yes, Laura, it yes. is true. Yes. Because the core of who we are, the mm-hmm. spirit of who we are, does not change. Uh, yeah. yeah. Our upbringing. Great reminder. How exactly how we are instilled by our parents, because I come from a home that has always been there. Seeds of peace. Seeds of peace, peace. togetherness, and no matter what happens, familia. Mm -hmm. Familia comes first, and this is what we want to create in here. We are the familia. I am here for you because you matter. Yes. Wasn't it beautiful? I was going to um, comment on Lady Gaga's performance at the half, uh, half uh, gorgeous Super Bowl. So Super Bowl. not only she um, was showing confidence and you know girl power, but also in a moment she turns to the camera and she says, "Hi, mom. Hi, dad." I thought that was so pure, innocent, and um, a moment where we were all united in love and peace and. A reminder of the connection Connection. we have with our caretakers, our caregivers, our love connections. No matter who you are, even the most evil people in the world have a connection. A light inside. You know, the yin-yang. Yeah, yeah. Inside the darkness, there is light. And inside the white, there is that one black spot. Mm -hmm. And in my interpretation is... There is no perfection because even the dark at the darkest time there is hope, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, even the most pure person has done one thing that has not been accepted mm-hmm. or has been wrong yeah. in the eyes of someone else. Yeah. So I, I do it every day with my right? kids. Every day, and they stand up to me, which I love. I love <laughs> that they stand up and remind me, Mom. You are wrong. And I (laughs) turn around and I say, you are absolutely right. And I am wrong. And I'm so proud of you that you caught me in this moment of weakness. And let's pray together. I have never prayed as much as I pray today as a mom. The motherhood journey has been all about prayers, meditation, awareness, awakenings, consciousness, and being really focused on the real essence of us being warm-hearted human beings. We are warm-hearted human beings, as Dalai Lama reminded us. Yes. That special. Oh my event, God! Right? Wasn't that incredible? Wasn't that incredible? Going to the Dalai Lama event we got together. to meet Dalai Lama together, and it, we have like this special sisterhood now, um, with peace and compassion. And and yes, indeed, we are warm-hearted human beings. Donald yes. Trump, our president, Donald Trump, is a warm-hearted human being. So somewhere within. He him. has uh, within him, he has that soft spot, that warm heartedness, his good intention. We just have to tap into that place. We have to have empathy and come together Bring and trying to unite. We need unity. This exactly. is a time where we need unity. We need to be united. You and me and every one of us. And that is why we're going to be at our event. (laughs) So join us at our... The wonderful 3E event. Evoke, embrace, evolve. evolve. You got to do it. This is (laughs) self-care. That's this right. Self care for ladies best. only. For ladies only, and their really? daughters, and, daughters. and moms, okay. and sisters, so and colleagues. Any generation, any um, any walk of uh, motherhood, womanhood, exactly. Soul leaders. And what call. is it? 
telling our children, I see you. Yeah. I see you see me because we make mistakes. And you matter. I matter. We matter. We matter. And we need to spend quality time. I love these events where belly to belly we get to spend quality time together. We get to have a chunk of time, which is the most precious thing. We spending time and together. focusing on really connecting and embracing and evolving together, lifting each other up. And, and holding one. one another strong. That's right. I stand by you. I stand by you. So I am beside you. So I am beside you. I stand behind you. I stand behind you. So when you need me. So when you need me. You can lean upon me. You can lean upon me. And often, when you ask, I will stand in front of you so I can protect you and defend you. So often, when you need when me. You need me I will stand behind you in front of in you in front of you so I can protect so I can protect you. Yes. That's and beautiful, that's Lisa. by you giving permission. That's by you giving permission because you matter. Because you matter. We'll be there for you. We'll, we'll be there stand for you behind and in front of you and we'll beside protect you. you and beside you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cover all so, your angles. So ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, this is not about bashing men and uplifting women. It's about saying we as human matter because you matter. The essence of who we are is comes from our core, which is birthing from the moment of that conception and reminding us that we are love mm. and we are protected in God's light. That's right. Right? Amen. And for today, I bid you goodbye, be safe, and look forward to my three-minute inspiration tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you, hearing from you, and being there for you, because you matter. Until next week, embrace, evoke, evolve. Much love. Well, goodbye. Bye. I can never finish this. <laughs>